Did a video not too long ago about Lubuntu, what's new in Lubuntu, and they're still on 0.17.0 .0 of LXQT. I was complaining about that a little bit, just because 1.0.0 .0 did come out in November, but I understand if they're shorthanded, don't have a lot of resources, etc. Now I want to do a video, since LXQT 1.1.0 recently released, I want to do a video showing and highlighting what's new in that version. So on April 15th of 2022, the LXQ team announced the release of LXQT 1.1.0. It depends on QT 5.15. That is the last LTS version of QT 5. They have started porting it to QT 6, as far as I know. LXQT's file manager now supports the file manager dbus interface, which is used by some apps like Firefox and Chromium. And there's also a new component called XDD, XDG Desktop Portal LXQT added to LXQT as a backend implementation for XDG Desktop Portal. LXQT themes have been improved, including a brand new theme and several new wallpapers have been added. If you go to LXQT themes, this Valen, Valendus is brand new. And that's what I have running right now. Also matching QT palettes are added for a fairly uniform look and feel of QT widget styles like Fusion. Hit apply. Nice. Icon themes. LXQT themes. And I think Box Arc Maya is the default on Manjaro. New fonts, no new fonts. There's your cursors and GTK styles. Bookmark functionality has been improved in QT Terminal. We go to System Tools, QT Terminal. If you right click anywhere in there and go to Preferences, there is a bookmark ability. Not sure how it works. I'm not familiar with it. And close that out. And there's also Several issues fixed in the drop down mode of Q terminal, which is that right there. You have to set that up from system tools, drop down terminal, and go to preferences, drop down, and then show on start and shortcut to bring it up. I changed it to F11. Panel config dialog has been split into three sections. Those three sections are placement, styling, and widgets. The reset buttons have also, have also been fixed. New wallpapers have been added, and they are now in a single folder. So you can just cruise to this folder, and there's your new, new wallpapers. A simple option has been added to LXQT session settings for global screens. Global screens set scaling. Here's your global screens scaling. That is hard to say. Scale factor 1.0 right now. I don't think I need to change it from my configuration, but it's there and you have a reset button to reset it back to default. A separate page for GTK style settings has been added. This right here. There are more than that, but I just kind of hit the highlights. I'm really hoping that 1.1.0 starts hitting your main systems. I am doing this on Monjero, and if you've noticed that you're not getting the 1.1.0 yet, it's because I am running on the unstable repositories, and hopefully that will move on down so that everybody gets that pretty soon. But that is a quick overview of what's new in LXQT 1.1.0. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe, and you'll make a an old truck driver happy. Till next time, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.